Why does the weekend hate trilogy? Why would he take it off the shelves? Why would he take it off the streaming services so that none of us can ever hear it again? Why would Abel do that? Let's talk about it. What's up, XO? So, just recently we celebrated the weekend's 10 year, yeah, I said it, 10 year anniversary of this trilogy compilation album. Uh, that album, uh, not much that needs to be said about it. We all know about it, we all love it, we all recognize how culturally significant it is to both the weekend as well as the entire genre of. R&B, hip hop, and etc. Now, um, we all took to celebrating this album via Twitter, social media, as well as actually going back and listening to it. Now, just to throw my hat kind of into that uh, debate of whether you listen to it straight through or on shuffle, I do listen to this album on shuffle. I like the element of surprise. Um, Tell me how you prefer to listen to it. Just put that in the comment section. But anyways, uh, Abel took the, took to Twitter to talk about the trilogy album, and um, as some would expect, Abel did not fail to uh, leave an impression on the trilogy album. Well, let's get into those tweets that Abel made. The first two. <clears throat> if y'all want to hear Trilogy, how it's supposed to be listened to, listen to House of Balloons, Thursday, and Echoes of Silence individually. Not all samples are on Trilogy, and the mix isn't the original mix. But shout out to Trilogy for free information. For the new fans, it isn't an album. Abel continued with, I might get rid of the compilation just so there's no more confusion. Now that all the samples are finally cleared since December 17th of 2021. But I also know there are fans of the compilation, so I might not get rid of it. But just want it to be clear. For all the new fans and weird readers. Older fans. Dot, dot, dot. Now, Abel did continue. I, don't, I do not have... <clears throat> this tweet, but Abel did continue a little further and say that, for example, listen to the Birds Part 2 from the Thursday original mixtape, and he believes it sounds way better than the Birds Part 2 on the trilogy compilation album. Now, <clears throat> let's break down his tweets just to like get into a what is Abel saying with these tweets? Now, it is the 10 year anniversary of the trilogy compilation album. You know, this album dropped in 2012. Now, to break down the root cause, what Abel is saying is it's not an album. There are a lot of us XO fans out here, um, whether new or old, that like to lump those three mixtapes into one set that it's just one album, one era. But what Abel was saying is for all you new fans out there, and weirdly us old OGXO fans who should already know this, Trilogy is not an album. Abel wants us to pre appreciate and truly listen to these as individual projects, not as one big conglomerate. For those of you that don't know, Trilogy is a compilation album. Now, what is a compilation album? Think of the Weeknd's highlight album that he dropped prior to the Super Bowl. That album is filled with songs like Call Out My Name, Can't Feel My Face, The Hills, uh, Blinding Lights, Save Your Tears, etc., so on and so forth. Now, Highlights album takes songs from many different sources and many different albums and different things that Abel has done throughout his career. That is a compilation album. And that is what Trilogy is. 
trilogy is a compilation album. It takes music from three of Abel's mixtapes that he actually released officially in 2011 rather than 2010. It also adds three new songs to it. So, you know, one song for each mixtape. Uh, 28 was added to House of Balloons. Valor was added to Thursday, and Echoes of Silence got still done. The real difference between the original samples and the trilogy compilation. Now, I'm no DJ, I'm no producer, so I can't really break down on the intricate this and that of those mixtapes compared to the compilation. The only thing I can say as a, an average listener or a fan of his that do like the original samples as well as the trilogy compilation album, the difference is that in the compilation album, his voice sounds amazing. However, you can definitely hear that Abel had remastered a lot of the sounds as well as tightened up and fixed the vocals for a lot of those to be more commercially sound or more pleasant to the eardrum for the songs that did go on radio, such as like The Zone, Wicked Games, so on and so forth. Now, when you talk about the original samples, original samples were more, they sound more raw, and more uncut. They sound more like if you were to listen to it live, listen to him saying live, you know, you can hear the cracks in his voice. You can hear his, <sighs> his breathing in it. You know, you can you can just hear everything. You can hear that atmosphere. You can hear the emotion in his voice. Now, I'm not saying that you can't hear those things on the trilogy compilation, but when you listen to the original sample, you can definitely hear a more raw, talent sounding able rather than the compilation where it's more soup, souped up more perfectly sounding rather than the imperfections of what he was saying in then because it, it, there, you can hear some imperfections in it however that's what makes live performances or certain things sound more closer you know you can feel more of his emotions in that rather than a perfectly recorded perfectly sound material song so on and so forth another difference is like i said the original sample didn't have 28 on at the end of house of bones you know it didn't have uh, valerie at the end of thursday it didn't have till dawn at the end of echoes of silence which that does suck and if you were to take it off that would that would that would be that would suck because I don't want to lose those three songs. Those three songs are freaking amazing. But uh, that's in my opinion. Those are differences that I I hear. Like I said, I'm sure there's others that can break down the, the samples and break down the extra elements and stuff that's different into. But that's what I hear as just a person that's a fan of his music that likes both versions. Uh, now, Abel did say December 17th of 2021 was when the last sample cleared. And what he's saying is, if you remember last year, 2021, when Abel was doing a 10 year anniversary of the mixtapes, you know, he had specialized merch for the mixtapes. He released the original samples of that. That's that's what Abel sees as the original 10 year anniversary. So yeah, he's saying, yeah, Trilogy is nice. I like Trilogy, but let's not forget my original, those are the 10 year anniversary anniversaries that I care about. I don't care about the 10 year anniversary of the trilogy that came out. That where I just took all those songs and projects and souped them up. No, I, that's the original stuff that I care about. And some people, I guess some of us fans, I guess what we, the problem that we do have is we do lump them all together mesh all those mixtapes together like they are just one big fluid project but in actuality they are three mixtapes and all three mixtapes are different in sound and actually they're different in themes house of balloons is more based around the weekends house of balloons lifestyle you know that partying lifestyle that he's experienced when he was uh 
at that time in his life, you know, living in this house of balloons where they partied every night, and so on and so forth. I'm sure you can get a, I can break that down in another video and get more elaborate on that. Now, Thursday is more so based on the weekend. Now, he's, he's still in this party lifestyle, but now he encounters a, a woman or <clears throat> he encounters an individual that he's more so that this individual likes him not loves him and really wants him however he's this stone cold heartless individual and he just brushes her off and he tells her straight from the jump that he ain't gonna be there to catch you fall fall in love and then you get to and he actually does she actually does fall in love with him and he breaks this he breaks that individual's heart and so on and so forth check out my uh, birds storyline breakdown you can check that out we'll elaborate on that now echoes of silence now that one that one you can see more so abel's growth as an uh, artist or abel i apologize abel abel more so breaks down he kind of displays that now he's kind of making it in the underground scene when it comes to the singing and the music you know now he doesn't have to pay his way to get into clubs. He can just walk on in there. He doesn't have to pay for drinks. Those shots are getting sent to his table for free on the house, you know. He's he's having strippers dance for him for free, you know. He's drawing a lot of attention. And in this one, I actually made a video on this, The Weekend's Lost Love. The Weekend does detail kind of how he, he fell for um, a lady or a woman or a lover. He fell for someone. And partly because this person was just like him. They're heartless, they're, they're cold, they're, they're just like him. And he ended up being the one that fell in love with that person. That person broke his heart and left. That's more so what Abel was talking about in that. And Abel kind of pretty much describes why he is the way that he is because he has had that heartbreak, heartbroken moment. Um, like I said, see, as you can see, all three of those mixtapes are different when you really break them down and um, to tell you the truth what I think Abel is doing, Abel is just trolling he ain't gonna take it down, what he's doing is he's just trolling he just found a clever way to tell all of us fans to appreciate each mixtape separately don't just say trilogy is this just one big album this that and that, no if you truly appreciate my work appreciate it and appreciate all of that stuff Separate entities, separate projects, because that's what they are. The separate projects. The trilogy, yeah, it's nice, but separate. I also think he was also sending this out to a lot of the newer fans. Now keep in mind when trilogy dropped as a compilation album in 2012, first week it sold 86,000. That's not a lot. Now, 2015, when the weekend truly blew up. Off of his Be the Behind the Madness album. By that time, Trilogy had compiled 500,000 sales, you know. 500 sales, like gross sales for copies moved, you know. Now, that's not that much because that's what After Hours did in its first week. Now, fast forward to 2019. Trilogy, the compilation album is now three times platinum. Now, what does that mean? Three million. So you see that big exponential growth from 86,000 all the way up to three million units moved. Now you're now you're talking about how grave that is. You do have a lot of individuals that became fans of Abel way after that time period. And they go back and they listen to Trilogy, they appreciate Trilogy, but they don't understand that Trilogy is actually just a compilation similar to the highlights of all of his other, his three mixtapes and three added bonus songs. And with that said, with that man said, like I said, um, Abel's just trolling, he ain't gonna take it down. Even in the last week, he said, yeah, I'm gonna keep it up though, because I know it's a lot of fans that like it, but he's just bringing awareness to it project those three projects um, yeah, that's about it